You know, one day you wake up and you realize that Gosha is gone. And where, where can you buy Russian words and clothes? Then, chill, got you sorted, because today we're talking about Eastern European brands that you need to know, and by Eastern European I mean only Russian and Ukrainian, because I don't know any others. We are going to talk mostly about street style, but there's gonna be also uh, some of the accessories brands and um, even home decor, so if you're interested stay tuned, but before that don't forget to subscribe to my channel maybe like this video, maybe share it with your friends, why not? And let's get started. So I'm going to talk about a lot of brands today, but you know, I give you freedom to choose and explore. I'm gonna start with some of the really popular and affordable ones. Also, let me have a quick disclaimer, nothing in this video is sponsored, it's just uh, my personal knowledge about Russian and Ukrainian streetwear. When I think Russian streetwear, the first, the first brand that comes to my mind is Volchok, and I think it's one of, it's genuinely the most popular and the most affordable one. So let's take a look at the store. So they have plenty of things to offer. Socks, um, hoodies, long sleeves, so you don't really have to uh, expect any extraordinary designs from them, but prints are cool and uh, for example let's check out sweatshirts and hoodies, Lonely Wolf, we all love wolves, and um, what else have we got here? We got here um, even a bit of color. Also, we got a sweatshirt from Euthanasia. Euthanasia is um, actually Ukrainian uh, tattoo hub. So they collab with uh, Bocho quite often. And um, I think the most popular sweatshirt is this one saying Russian Underground. My favorite two lines in uh, Bow Chalk in general are Base and Flame. So let's check it out. We have Base. We have Baseline. Um, and their Baseline include um, Bow Chalk logo prints. They include uh, Russian Underground prints. And you can see that basic, basic line is honestly just black and white. You can easily find whatever you need there. Very minimal. I, I really like this um, shoelaces saying underground on them. And let's check out flame section. And that's um, pretty much same, same clothing, but uh, with flame print. Or with flame print or embroidery. I really like flame pants, but um, they have really limited sizes, and unfortunately, they don't have size extra small. But I would definitely cope them. From wolves and dragons, let's move to something closer to our Gosha vibe. And the brand that I wanted to mention today is Sputnik Divitnaz It became really popular approximately in the same time as Gosha, and I think they even had collab with Gosha. And I think it's a great, great place to get something just uh, printed on your shirt. For example, here, that, that's a shirt that says, I don't like you. It's literally just English phrase, I don't like you, but in Cyrillic. It is quite cool if you want just an interesting print to go with your basic clothes or if you're um, pulling your basic wardrobe together. I actually really like this hoodie. Also, they got really cute candles. For example, you have Trump, you have um, Lukashenko. Another streetwear brand that I used to like when I was probably like 15, 16? It's quite an old one and uh, to be fair, I don't know how they're doing now, so <laughs> let's check it out together. So it's been like really long time since I ordered from them and their website looks terrible. It looks like, um, you know, one of those AliExpress shops, but it's alright, we're judging clothes. Youth 
youth store, they have their own uh, line, but also they're like marketplace for different streetwear brands from Russia. The last one they have, uh, Eunest, that's their base collection. Also, everything like we like, gothic, flames, dragons, very sad. That's exactly the sweatshirt that I had uh, when I was 16, I guess. I felt so cool being such an edgy little cheese when I was 16, wearing a long sleeve saying, run with me or from me, and being like, I'm so grungy, so freaking deep. Let's see what Peterski shit does. Okay, so they go do anoraks and uh, let's check somebody else. Let's check um, Sever. Sounds interesting. Okay, oh yeah, so they're doing tie-dye shorts, bum bags saying revolution and um, hats and stuff like that. Looks kind of cool, socks, everything like we love. You know, you want basic stuff, go into Russian stores because the best, the best thing about them is prices. Like literally for Volchok stuff, I think the most, most, most expensive thing there is maybe like hundred dollars. So I don't know, why would you pay for something like that, $200, if you can buy something better for 30 and also help the creatives out and not people who steal others' ideas. Let's move on to our next brand and this one is not really like a clothing clothing brand. What they wanted to do is um, create like skateboarding community so only members would get the access to the hoodies and like whole clothing line but uh, you know if most of your members are kids like 13 16 years old of course they're gonna resell that shit of course they're gonna do that their website looks quite cool but they don't actually sell anything on their website funny enough. So uh, the best place where you can find it, it's like on OLXUA. So they got quite cool stuff like um, shirts and uh, hoodies and stuff like that. I would say website like marketplace like OLX is a very good way to get interesting clothing for really cheap price. And another underground brand which it's not too underground, it's like pop underground. Uh, is Anton Lysin, he also mostly does uh, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants, balaclavas. So with Anton Lysin we are moving more into more pricey segment. Let's take a look at the brand called Tattoo Spatters. You know who this brand will be really good for? For people like me who really miss fit more tattoo um, long sleeves. So they have a whole line of tattoo things, that's why that's where the name comes from, tattoo sweaters, because that's the first thing that they were making, like second skin sweaters. But now they're doing pretty futuristic stuff and it's just incredible. It's and also they do dog clothing. I want to show you a couple of things that I'm obsessed with. For example, for example, this um, trench coat is just so creative. I really like this blazer. Yeah, you can check them out if you're interested. And now I think it's one of my favorite um, Ukrainian brands, uh, Ksenia Schneider. So why I like it so much? Because it is all about sustainability, but also cool clothes. And probably you saw them on plenty of celebrities with those weird um, jeans that were popular maybe like two year or two years ago. They mostly work with denim and patchwork, and it is just 
you know, it is sustainable, it looks good and it is creative. What else do you want from that? Of course, yes, it's quite pricey, but it's designer. New collection is just fantastic. I absolutely love this printed um, jeans and just the whole uh, print collection looks really good if you want something more creative but also if you want something unusual but also sustainable check this out i'm sure you can find something for you the last thing that i wanted to talk about it is not actually a brand but i guess a whole trend now in um, post-soviet culture so there is a massive trend that i noticed with um, you know those soviet houses soviet apartment blocks or how you call them, comic blocks, or in Russian it sounds like panelne dema, panelka. And um, a lot of brands started producing really cool things with this reminiscence of Soviet times. For example, Volchok is doing these panel um, concrete pots, which looks very nice if, uh, I don't know, if you can use it for cutlery or um, for your stationery. Then there is this nightlight, which actually I ordered for my apartment uh, from a knocking store, and it's just it's it looks so cool. It's genuinely just a little um, panel a panel apartment block, and um, I don't know. It really it really makes me miss Ukraine because that's where my parents live in, like exactly this type of building. Another one is uh, Swata, also with panel uh, apartment block from brand called Woo Woof, um, Shristina Vogue, and um, I'll leave uh, all the links in the description. And the last but not the least is Ring from Kate Snap, with also little panel, um, panel uh, block apartments. And on Kate Snap, I would like to stop. Um, for a little bit longer because I am obsessed. Her rings are just fantastic. For example, um, a lot, a lot of them are actually very polluted. For example, here you can get um, cracked Lenin. Um, you can get rings to support Belarus. For example, this one uh, says "Battlefield heals everyone." and um, there are plenty of other really cool uh, engravings on it you can even get jesus wearing mask like that's so so creative and also it is 100 percent authentic oh, for example you got a uh, ukrainian uh, rings as well uh, which is saying hasn't died yet which is a part for of ukrainian uh, anthem the anthem line says ukraine hasn't died yet and um, you got plenty of stuff with barbed wire, flames, all edges stuff that we all like. So that was last brand for today. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. All the links I will leave down in the description. If I forgot to mention any of the brands that you like, don't forget to comment in the comment box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscription, you know what to do. And see you in the next one. Bye.